we just touched on cash for it recently made just a few months ago we received the bone crushing news Aye. that cash had to retire from the sport uh, due to yearly medicals not been satisfactory with the British Boxing Board of Control what was your initial reaction to this? Well obviously um, me and Ian were when I first got told it was it was a bit like right, hold on let's double check this first you know this is just you know this can't be true you know you don't and in respect of the fighters, you know, if you put a, a table, a league table up, and who gets that cash would be at the bottom. So you're thinking, nah, something right here. So um, he'd been for a test, and it never went well because cash was late, and uh, but you know, a couple of other things. And um, we done it again, and the results come back, and we're just like, this is this is done. You know, done twice. I take it. Yeah. Ah, well, you you, you never take. Yeah, first opinion that you always just yeah, double yeah. check make sure I so it's done again then um, it's, it's dead hard and I think you know it's not about it's, it's not about me but you, you, it's just about cash and you think I'm just so gutted from that obviously I think about all the time I put I think all the time we've put in together you know and you think it's, it's devastating because I'm not saying he would have been a world champion but he was he definitely had world class skills he was good enough and he would have He'd have competed with anybody, I think, at the highest level. And I think it's just disappointing he never got to test himself. You know, in, in your boxing career, no matter what you do, you know, if you know you're at a, le a certain level, you want to reach that level and, and push or test yourself and see how good you are. It's just devastating he's no, he's no made that, that pinnacle. What was going through your mind at that moment when you all sat down and that must be mega difficult, mate? It was just like, I could see the... the, the, the Cash had so had left his body if that makes sense you know because like, yeah. he was like vacant he's like oh but this isn't real is it and I'm like I don't know Cash you know I kind of say we'll just need to see how it goes and um, that was a, it was a heavy couple of months I'd, 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 I had a personal issue going on at the same time which is still going on and it was it was um, a weird uh, 2021 can come to a jump to sell yeah. it was a horrible year and uh, devastating for Cash and I'm not saying he's over it but certainly He's got his head round it, and as I said, what I say to all the fighters is there's a long time left after boxing. See when it's done, it's done, forget about it, because you, know, you need to live your life. How would you say Cash is doing now? That the, Not the dust is settled, but we're, we're a couple of months on. How is he, how's his emotions and things like that now? He's okay. He's trying for, I think the most important thing is fill his time, I told him. You, know, you, you need to be doing something, so he's been uh, he's been over helping Gary Jacobs one day with Martin Harkins and filling his time and... Um, He's keeping the thing, keeping keeping himself taking over, and I think he's going to he's going to look to try and get a job or maybe go and re-educate himself, go to court. I, I don't know. He's going to he's going to make sure that um, he keeps his mind going and taking over, and he'll help me. He's going to help me. I'm working in Boris is fighting a couple of weeks, and he'll come down and he'll, he'll stay involved, and then he'll get his license and he'll help me in the corners and that. And that's all you can do. Mm -hmm. You know, I dare say we'll have some low times when he sees. You know, if he sees other fighters on the bit of him that he believes he could have beat winning world titles or titles, he'll, uh, he'll, but that's you can't, mm -hmm. you know, you need to expect that when that will happen. Tell me your proudest moment, with Cash. Um, I think, uh, and I like Jamie Wilson, Jamie Wilson's a really nice lad, but I think uh, the way he won the British title was just, you know, there was, see, like. Bringing, bringing, bringing cash through to him sparring there was sometimes where I was standing inside the ring and I had to bite my hand because I was watching like the evolve him he was just like dismantling I, going, oh, I was just like I was just going you know, having to hide my, my emotion because he was just not taking a punch and he was just amazing and you know certain levels of fighters we went against and I just think cash wasn't that bothered about winning the British title he's like oh, I, I'm like cash listen win that and keep it you've no idea how much Aye. fighters I just don't think he'd grasp the, the history of that belt but um, what he done uh, the way the way he won the British title was just uh, never take that away I think that was brilliant Do you feel we've seen the best of cash for it or do you feel it's so much more to give? Well, I, th I think um, He was 26 was he coming at his prime years do you feel? When he retired? So I think he was coming at his I think he was coming at his prime years for the point of view that uh, the hit and no get hit and, and barely I think he was developing into a world class fighter where he would have known how to deal with, with other world class fighters and you, you maybe not seen as much when he wouldn't have been as gung ho because he's learned if that makes you know at least like Mayweather coming through he was dead gung ho and then when he fought Paco you can see he was just dead clinical and clever and I think you would have started to see that that element for cash all the stuff he well and truly served his apprenticeship to, to compete at European world level I think you would have, you would have, you would have seen that the better composure 
Do you feel he was a world champion in the making? <laughs> of course, and it's easy to say, but I, I listen. No matter what anybody says, he, it's like I was talking to him, and I was saying, like, when they talk about you, they'll talk about your skills. A lot of time, when they talk about other fighters, they talk about the fights he was in. But there's no talk about that with Cash. They talk about, oh man, you were great. You know, just head movement. And that. Whenever I take my gyms, that's all they talk about other fighters. So, I, I definitely believe he was, he was, he the, he the skills to compete at world class level. See, when you first seen Cash, Freak, did you were you blown away how special this kid was? Um, you'll know thank me for this, but probably he was just a wee bit. He was, I think, it was nineteen eighty nineteen when I when I got him a wee bit. Well, he wasn't as ripped as, as what he was <laughs> and probably not as refined but mm-hmm. he had that wee bit of movement that you could just say oh, there's just something something about him something different and you know I, I loved uh, she likes a James Tony that kind of style oh, right. so seeing I got Cash I'm like I'm just going to keep going with this I'm going to oh, play with this and, you so know, wait, it's the way Cash fought on the inside would you? he's similar to James I'll say if you cut Jake Lamont and James Tony in half that's the Cash oh, style see if you think about it from a boxing point of view like, you want to impress everybody the fans you know, the, the connoisseurs you know, and and you don't you know, so fans want to see good fights so you know and, and connoisseurs what you know the, the perfection of boxing don't want to see you get a hat so he could do both he could stand in front you know get a hat and it could be an exciting fight that to me is what boxing's all about and I, you know, that, that's what uh, sold it for sold him it's people. the way we'd take that half step back to take the sting at the shots coming back I thought his defence was brilliant no I that's that's you know a lot. I'm disappointed sometimes where people are saying he's getting hit with right hands, and I'm going, no, he's actually he's actually guiding with his shot. But I, he, 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 he could take this thing without a shot with just very slight it's moving. He's just, uh, as I said, it's about that's something. I'm not saying he's not get time, but he worked so hard mm. every single day perfecting it. If you could say one word to sum up Cash what would it be? One word. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a few words, I definitely think, but... Uh, Get after. Aye, but you, you, you couldn't just give him one word, I don't know if there's, you know, he's grafter, exciting, mm-hmm. you know, uh, untouchable. Mm-hmm. Untouchable. <laughs> which, uh, which was, uh, was kind of taken for that Nicola Loche, Nicola mm-hmm. Loche, is that his name? Um, probably, I just use that word. How good was the journey? Fantastic, I'm just got to the, you know, went dead quick, but... I look back now, unbelievable, you know, he, you know, he's, as a coach, I, I'm, I'm just a part-time coach, you know, I still work, you got my family and all the rest of it and pay bills and I'm just, you know, I'm just in for the fun, but to be able to get down, you know, it's particularly during Covid, we got to get into the, the big shows and you are mixing with Yusik and Chisora. How was that experience for you? That was, uh, again, you don't think about the time, and I always say this, you know, to any fight, you don't appreciate your career until you look back. But looking back at Brown, you know, getting into the XL and you know, you're, you're sitting having your breakfast with Eddie Hearn was there and you know, and whoever else was <laughs> there. Dirty his pockets, get his Rolex after him, that mean. Connor Ben was, you know what I mean? It was, aye, it was, it was an interesting experience. It was good. I can, I, listen, it was brilliant. See the contacts I've made and, they, you know, like going in the gyms and the people have, and I, I'm doing that, I'll do that with my fighters going forward. Like I've had Boris and, and Gallicers and I like Matt Vienko's gym. Uh, you know, in Bolton things like that, so I'll keep doing that. Would well, do you say you spent some of the best times of your boxing journey with Cash for it? Native is but I it's been the best part of my, my boxing career so far has been has been with what Cash has done. It's I, you know it, it, people just see the fights but they don't see the hard slogs and four hours in the <laughs> car and I'll say listen to his part and he'll say listen it's listen to my part but four hours done, four hours back and that you don't see all the the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Jokes in the last oh, oh, aye. Oh, and the, and, aye, and the, the tantrums and whatever. Ugh, no tantrums, but he's... We never fail it now. Just a long... Sometimes it's boring, you know, just a long journey and things like that. It was just hey, hard, hard, it was hard going. You any good stories about them? Funny ones? Um, you can share those, obviously. Don't ask him to say Frank Biglione. Because <laughs> he can't see it. <laughs> I mean, we touched on this at the St Andrews show actually the other week there and you like, ended up jabbing me. Or, it's funny, I'm Scottish, he's Scottish, but see where I went somewhere uh-huh. and he'd speak Scottish and s- somebody would look at me and I'd need to translate this Scottish uh-huh. to my Scottish. <laughs> 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 but I think the best one was me and Boris in, the, in front of the car and cash it back as I said. And, well, and they just, Boris had just spared his ear button 
and I just happened to say, who was it? Who was it? Has he a beat for it? I've lost the British title. And Cash went, thank you. Thank you. And me and Boris looked at each other. And Boris clicked on dead quick. And I went, who? And Cash done the same thing again. Aye. And me and Boris were in stitches and Cash like, yeah, pay now. This and that. So <laughs> if, see if anybody goes up to Cash and says, who, who was there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's you lost that Craig Dixon. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That's one that sticks my head anyway, so. How much does cash would it go to give on the other side of the ropes? Can he be a world-class trainer? I know he's got a job as a head of talent, but do you see this guy excelling in the sport on the other side of the ropes? It's, it's hard to say. It just depends what, you know, how much he falls in love with it. I think, you know, you need to become obsessed. You know, like anything to be good at it, you need to be, need to be obsessed. You, you watch all these things about certain athletes and whatever they do, and I thought it'd be good at it. You need to be obsessed and... If he was in like his boxing career, then there's, there's no argument, I think. It's that style he has, but see if you can implement that into a young fighter coming through. It only can breed success. Right. It's unbelievable that style Cash for it has. I think it's it's just incredible to watch. I think it's amazing to watch. I mean, I, I was getting to the stage that I was enjoying watching some of the miss more than I was watching them hit. Uh. Because I was, you know, you watch Canelo and I think there's a wee clip kind of about with Daniel Jacobs mm -hmm. and Canelo misses that, like. 11 punches or something. And I'm like, Send it to people. Look at this. That's yeah. brilliant. You know that that's 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 how Canelo will go so long, and that's how James Tony went so long. And and you know it, it's because you know they've learned that they're not getting punched. It's just stop at the right time. Yeah. Probably James Tony as much as he never took hits. He done it over eighty fights. So yeah. what? I fight with a took over forty. He's took over eight. So. Mm -hmm. 